82, just on that episode up here, finally, um, I'm making another video about how to overclock your APU processor A84500M. I know a lot of people having trouble overclocking that processor. Some people say because the process is locked and all other stuff, I try to go on YouTube myself and try to find out how to overclock it. But, um, that still didn't manage to work, so I want to have that finish start, you know, have that finish, you know, messing with you know, messing with the um, AMD overdrive to find out how to overclock it. So, um, of course, download AMD overdrive off of, the, uh, I guess, the official website. And um, I do recommend make sure all of your drivers is updated. So, when you play your game, you know, when you play your little games on your computer or laptop, um, you can have the maximum performance that you can have by having the latest drivers. So, um, let's get started. You know, click, you know, Obviously, yes, gives you basically a warning about they're not basically responsible if your computer is messed up or whatever and a dangerous, you know, you know, the, um, get show the dangerous and bad stuff or whatever. Just basically just to cover their behinds about it, but, um, and I guess it kind of what your warranty to and all that stuff too. So that's all basically saying basically not responsible for any damages and all that and just void your warranty, all that other stuff. So, Okay, um, go on your clock and voltage, go on your turbo, co turbo core controller, make sure, your make sure your laptop's plugged in and your settings on your battery is on high performance so you can be able to overclock your processor. Click on turbo core and um, as you see this is the boost level 1, this basically controls your um, CPU voltage, you know the target value so um, make sure and and this basically is this controls your current value basically the current speed and the current voltage so my target is 25 megahertz and currently my is on 2.3 megahertz so what you're going to have to do is go on boost one and increase your voltage to one these one one two five Make sure at least one one two five or one one something, or it can be this. This can be just as fine. Click OK, and as you can see, my um, my current clock speed now is on two two five fifteen megahertz, basically. So basically, my device is overclocked. So you, so once you set it to that, you're basically good. So um, all you have to do now, don't worry about the fact that when you moved it, it was red. It's still it's okay. I've been overclocking mine for about at least a month or two now, and I haven't had any issues. So so now you can just go and boost yours up to the maximum. Click OK, and as you can see now, um, mine's on two eight gigahertz. So you know um. My, it's very, it, mine is very stable. Sometimes it does have a habit of slowing down after a while, but it's still it's okay. But I haven't, I haven't had any issues so far doing it. And of course, you go overclock your your graphics processor to the max too, and you you know press apply, press OK, and you can see on the statuses my temperature is um, around what average around 48 to 50, which is which is good and safe. So it does. So it's, you know, it tells you that my computer is not overheating or anything. So I always monitor that. So because the hotter your, the hotter the temperature, the um, the more risk of your computer to be overheat and that will be bad. It will destroy your processor and it will destroy your um, your computer and and basically you have to get another computer. As as you can see, mine is on forty five. Um, that's the temperature, so which is good. So it tells you that you know my computer is not getting hot. So, so as you can see, you see it switches to 28 to 23. So still, over, still overclocked, still switching. So it's still good, 
and usually it probably will, you know, say since I'm playing the game, it probably will probably remain at 28. So if you have any questions, um, you know, inbox me and all that. And this was very easy. And once you reboot your computer, it will remain at this. It will remain um, the same. But all you have to do is just go back. For example, I will reboot my computer right now. I mean, restart it or shut it down. It will, it will basically leave, it will leave um, off at the um, configuration that you had on your voltage. All you have to do is just push OK and click it. So as you can see, I'm, I'm going to show you guys. Only know if you're in a, and if uh, if you kind of um, not feeling comfortable doing it, don't do it. But the only way you can tell if your computer has a problem or is not stable if it reboots or the screen just go all black all of a sudden have a blue screen that tells you that um, your system has crashed and it couldn't handle the um, overclock. So, so that's don't all you gotta do is basically increase the voltage to a comfortable rate. To, you know, like I said, one one. Two five or one one oh five or whatever. So I want to load up. I basically explain what I you know explain what I was saying. Dragon Ball Z on my computer on an emulator, of course. Okay, go back on clock and voltage. Well, as you can see, mine's are still switching off to um, 23 to 28, you know, gigahertz. So basically, it's gonna leave off with the exact same settings you had the last time when you reboot or turn off your computer, which is good. Um, but you know, um, for as long, for the um, GPU processor. You know, it just basically resets itself, which is cool. You can just, you know, go ahead and move the slider up. You know, move it to any gigahertz that you want to overclock it to. Say about a thousand even. Go to zero. All right. Apply. Then it's overclocked. Just as simple. So, as I was saying for the um, gigger, as I was saying for the voltage, just increase it to this. This is basically the safest bet. And going this basically controls how much you increase the value. And make sure you have this top off the wig. I don't know if you see that. Um, wait, well, before I go to that, but make sure to leave this at where it is because you go any lower, your computer will crash. And it will continue to have a crash loop. You will have to put yours in safe mode. And hurry up and quickly, because it happened to me like what an hour ago. My computer just kept crashing, kept crashing when I decreased it, this voltage all the way to like nine something. So um, it just kept crashing. So I put it in safe mode, plug out the um, the little charger, switch it into um, power safe mode, and hurry up and try to switch the voltage, CPU voltage, so it wouldn't, you know. Do anything. So this is just one of the twelve here and 